Okay, I am where I am these days. Uh, I guess I'm thankful to be playing. Um, still recover. I'm still using the stand because it helps me. Uh, but I am playing. I am standing. I'm tough to knock down. So thanks for joining me at Green Guitars today. I've got a Jazz Master reissue to show you. It's a crafted in Japan. The neck says. December 90, well, neck and body, there's a stamp on the body, stamp on the neck, says so December 97. Uh, body is Mark EX, I believe that just stands for export. I know about the X-Trad guitars, um, but I don't think this is that. I think it's an older body, I'm not sure. Um, great guitar, extremely high quality wood craftsmanship, feel the neck, you know, is right. The only place where they're really going to cut any corners or where you're really going to hear a difference is pickups and electronics. I don't think they're, they're not going to use the cheapest stuff you can get in Japan, but it's probably not as good as, say, CTS and, you know, your best components. Um, I'm on my normal rig. I'm on about one and a half on the volume, five and five on bass and treble on the Vibralux setting. No reverb, plug straight into the amp. That's a 60 watt tube amp. Helitone speakers all around. I am in this Avatar 212, so three speakers going. Um, it's loud here. You can't tell because the way these mics work on the camera. Um, but it's loud. I am on both pickups here. Uh, volume and tone on 10. Traveler bridge pickup. to the strings than the bridge pickup. Sometimes I adjust that stuff, but I like the way it is when you put it on both pickups. <laughs> Just the way it is. It's not too trebly, and I, I like the bass there. So, good combination. Uh, that's everything full up. So, you can take out treble. You can certainly roll down the volume. As you roll down the volume, you lose some treble. Um, this switch gives you the neck pickup uh, with a volume and a tone. So you can like preset, you know, your bridge pickup with a volume and a tone down here. Flick this switch up, and you've got a separate volume and tone for your neck pickup. A little finicky. You got to get it in the right spot. Jig a little, little. so it's a little scratchy, probably some dust and dirt in the pot. I haven't sprayed in any cleaners or anything, which is probably the jiggly stuff there if you have to jiggle it. Um, it's probably nothing I'd ever use, but it's there. That's how they were. Um, the whammy is kind of like on a Bigsby. method of sticking the strings in and wrapping around. It's got the slotted head to do that. I still use the time method. I got a video on here some, or on YouTube someplace where I talk about that. I feel it holds the guitar in tune better for any kind of guitar. And certainly I can use this vibrato and have it. I'm not having any tuning problems. 
you can't dive bomb on one of these guys like you can on a Strat. Um, and just for grins, on the Dirty Channel, uh, I've got it set everything on 8. Game 1, Game 2, Bass, Mid, and Treble. Volume's at about 2. Uh, you got to go a little higher on this channel to get equal volume. So, the Burn Channel. Again, no reverb or anything. <laughs> the other one. You don't hear it so much on the clean channel, but hum, no hum, hum. So when you got both pickups on, I guess you're in a serious thing there. No hum. They are single coil pickups. Great big fat ones, but single coil nonetheless. Um, there you have it. Um, you're going up on eBay. It's got a Fender gig bag with it. Uh, these didn't come with hard cases in the day. I got a vintage case, but uh, that's sold separately. Um, so, comes with a gig bag going up on eBay, no games, no hidden reserve, whoever bids highest wins. I will probably start it at $5.99, including shipping for the continental U.S. Uh, some countries I can ship to, some I can't. Email me before you bid. Any questions, you can either get me he here uh, at YouTube or if it's on eBay, you can get me through the eBay, ask the seller a question. Either way, thanks for watching. God bless. See you next time.